Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, uh, we're gonna be growing an uh, oak tree from an acorn. Uh, the acorn is the seed from the oak tree. This huge tree behind me here is an ancient oak tree. Uh, it's probably about 200 years old, that tree. And it's gotta be 70 foot tall at least. Uh, I'm not even close to it, but the trunk is over a meter in diameter. So uh, that's how big that is. Uh, so I'm going to be showing you a really easy, really foolproof method to grow oak trees from acorns. Uh, no messing around putting them in the fridge. Uh, none of this uh, overly complicated methods that you see on YouTube. Uh, this is the basic, easy method, foolproof method. Pick up your seeds and they'll grow. So stay tuned and we'll make a start. Okay everyone, so... Uh, I've seen a lot of people um, asking how you grow oak trees from seed and I've seen a few videos and what I've noticed is all the videos um, will tell you to put them in the fridge and collect the seeds, put them in the fridge and stuff like that um, but that's completely unnecessary so it's mid autumn here or early autumn, October in the UK so uh, all the acorns fell couple of weeks back and the leaves are just hanging on and they're just about to fall off uh, we're surrounded by oak trees and there's a huge one here uh, which normally has some nice acorns so um, what I'm gonna do um, they've been on the ground for a few weeks so they should start sprouting on their own should start germinating uh, you don't need to collect them when they fall and then wrap them up in tissue, put them in the fridge. Uh, it's meant to be because they need a period of cold to start sprouting, but uh, if you just leave them, or you can bury them somewhere, uh, but I found they get buried under the leaves under here, and I can almost guarantee there'll be some sprouting already. So let's have a little look around. Um, so as you can see there's a fair few acorns lying around sorry there's a jet just flying across so apologies if you can hear that yep, there's one there already started germinating so uh, you can skip the whole process of taking them out putting them in the fridge and whatnot there's one there and if you just leave them to go under the leaves, uh, they will germinate. That one hasn't yet. Uh, but there's no one there. Look at that one. <laughs> so it's literally just fell off the tree. I landed down here. Get buried under the leaves and stuff. Yeah. So you can skip the whole messing around, wrapping them up in tissue and stuff. I mean, you can do that if if you don't have the tree easily accessible. You can collect them when they fall and uh, there's no need to put them in the fridge, just leave them outside somewhere. Just dump a lot of leaves on top of them and leave them outside. There's some more over here. I mean, look at them all. <laughs> uh, I don't need all these, obviously, uh, but we'll take a few. And I'm going to plant some in a little pot. Uh, I'm just going to poke them in. Uh, the roots sticking down. And we'll leave them outside. Over winter. And come spring. They'll start uh, shooting up. Uh, the leaves will start growing. Um, through the winter. Or the rest of autumn and winter. Uh, it will concentrate on growing roots. And it won't. It probably won't sprout leaves until spring, um, unless it gets a head start. Uh, we have a warm autumn or something. Uh, but anyway, look look at all them seeds there. From a matter of minutes, say so, another one. <laughs> um, yeah, say so, all them. Um, take them over to the greenhouse, and I'll put a few in a pot. And I'm going to try another little experiment um, where I'll grow them indoors in some water. Um, just put them pointy end down with the root dangling into the water. 
and use a couple of cocktail sticks or something to hold it upright so that it dangles in like that and we'll see if we can get it growing indoors so uh, I'll take these over to the greenhouse and get back to you in a minute okay so after only a few minutes of searching um, I managed to find this many um, so this is obviously more than what I want but um, I can pick the best ones and I'm going to plant them um, not all of them I'll just chuck the rest out squirrels and stuff I'll have them um, but uh, it's just a case of getting a pot of soil and planting your acorns careful not to damage the roots uh, you can put them underneath the soil surface slightly uh, they don't have to be poking out uh, but don't bury them too deep uh, a few of these I'm going to save because uh, I'm going to do an experiment where we sprout them in water so I'm just going to plant four in this pot um, that one will be quite good for the water that one can go in uh, so uh, it's really simple there's no point in uh, I've seen a lot of videos where people do um, germinating them in the fridge and stuff like that uh, but it's really unnecessary when you can just collect them literally just leave them where they fall uh, or you can gather them up when they fall and just put them under a pile of wet leaves or something uh, you don't need to take them in, wrap them in tissue, put them in the fridge um, it's just making it overly complicated uh, but anyway, so um, I'm going to choose maybe maybe two or three of these uh, and what I'm looking for is where the roots are going straight down because um, that way it will go into the water uh, obviously with one like that uh, it might be a bit awkward to get it to go in uh, but I'll show you what I'm talking about in a minute anyway so um, I'll take that one there, that one there that one looks like it's going to be a double so that'll be interesting so we'll take them three in and I'll show you what I'm up to and just before we head indoors uh, to do our oak seeds in the water experiment uh, I just thought I'd show you these two which I've been growing in pots these are actually quite old now, probably about five or six years these have been going and um, you can see I've cut them down before uh, but they do grow quite quick but uh, they're quite easy to keep small and they're just starting to lose their leaves now for autumn um, but uh, this is what you can expect in about well i'll say if you didn't cut it down it'd be a lot taller so probably the equivalent of about two three maybe four years growth there and i've got one more uh, bigger one uh, which i'll just take you over and show you as well okay so this is my biggest one that i've got uh, all the leaves are going to be falling off now because it's coming into winter yeah, but this is um, quite a lot older than the other two. Um, yeah, it's been in a pot for a good few years. Uh, but I actually salvaged this uh, from one of my clients uh, who were ripping up their garden. And this was just a, it was about half the thickness of what it is now. And it's been in a pot for about three years. So they are nice trees to grow. So I just thought I'd show you that as well. So we're heading doors now and I'll show you uh, what I'm up to with the oak trees in water. Okay, so um, this is a little experiment that I've just started uh, with these three acorns here, uh, oak seeds. Uh, I've just stuck them in this little pot with some water, dangled the roots in the water. And I've used a couple of uh, kebab skewers just to hold them up uh, so they don't rot in the water. So I'll leave these on the windowsill and I'll update you in the future. We'll see how they go. Okay guys, so one more thing I want to show you before we go. Uh, we've planted our acorns into the little pot. Our pre-germinated acorns that we collected from under the leaves down there. And I've 
done some in water in the kitchen. I uh, just left them on the windowsill as an experiment because um, I thought maybe uh, I could get them to grow indoors. Don't know how well that's going to go, but we'll give it a go. Uh, but I'm just going to flip you around and I just want to show you uh, another way to get a little oak tree. Um, even easier. So I'll flip you around. Okay, so like I said, we are surrounded by oaks. Um, so a lot of the seeds will fall down here into the leaves. So if we're lucky, uh, we might even find one which has grown down here last year. So we might find uh, some nice little oak seedlings under here. So I just need to jump over this little brook. So um, hopefully I won't fall with the camera in my hand. Okay, so um, I haven't even checked if there is any, but I'm betting there is. So let's have a look around. Okay, it's not looking good. Aha, there you go, right there. That is an oak seedling. Uh, that won't be this year's, that'll be last year's. And it doesn't get much light under here, so um, they don't get very big. We'll leave that one out, I don't really want to pull it up. Uh, but if you're anywhere near an oak tree, um, it's kind of pointless in even growing them from seed uh, yourself. And I know it's a fun process, but look, there's some more here. So these will be last year's, these aren't this year's. So there's one there. So you could pull that out, put it in a pot. Another one right next to it. One there. Uh, they don't get much light under here. And they kind of get trampled a bit. Oop, just pulled that one up. So there's a little oak sap seedling. Uh, it's got some roots on it, so that would probably survive if you planted that in a little pot. Two more there. Not looking very healthy, but... <coughs> but they will perk up so that's just another way of getting a little oak tree going uh, if we look around even more we might even find some slightly more established ones and some slightly older ones yeah, but this does get cut every now and then so they won't get huge I'm um, just trying to see if I can find a bigger one. Um. <coughs> I guess one, let's that one. <laughs> There's one, that's an oak tree right there. And that's a good few years old, that's been cut down multiple times as well. By the looks of it. So, is that the same one? Yeah, that's part of that one. Um, hoping you can hear me quite well. I haven't got my microphone, but I've got um, the microphone on my camera's pretty good. There's some more there. These are probably probably two years old. Well, they, these have been cut down before as well. Let's see under there. Look how it's grown. <laughs> Another one, that's part of the same one. There's all sorts of little trees around here. Anyway, uh, that's enough of that. Okay everyone, so um hope you found that interesting. Um, we'll keep you updated on the acorns that we've got in the water and the ones that we've lined in the pot. Uh, but I've no doubt they'll grow well. So anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you'll subscribe. And uh, if you enjoy the tree videos and uh, growing stuff from seed and stuff, uh, let me know. Uh, if you've got something you want to see me grow, let me know. Leave a comment below. 
Um, subscribe to me if you want to, if you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you on the next one. Hope you all have a great week. See you later.